How may I help you? I got a message, something about an arrest warrant and uh, my property is being monitored. And I, I don't know why. Okay. All right. And was it a voicemail or a call that you received, no, sir? I, no, it was like one of them robot things. Okay. And did you receive your case number along with a call? No, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear anything like that. Just said to call All right, no number. problem. Okay. And can you let me know in which number you receive a call? The number which you are calling me right now or in your cell phone or in your home, home phone? This one. This number here, my cell phone. All right. So you receive a call in this calling number. Am I correct? Correct. All right. So as you have not received your case file along with a call, can you help me out with your first name and your last name so that I can pull up your information and explain it to you? First name is Larry, L-A-R-R-Y. Uh-huh. Last name is Newhart, <clears throat> N-E-W-H-A-R-T. And can you help me out with your zip code? 33905. 33905, is that correct? Correct. All right, sir. So just give me a moment over here, let me pull up the information, and I will explain it to you what was the call all about, all right? Okay. All right, thank you very much, just give me a moment. Okay. Thank you so much for being on hold, sir. Okay. Well, the, uh, all right, so the reason why we are trying to reach you today is because the IRS is filing a criminal lawsuit under your name in reference to the default with the IRS about your tax evasion. Tax because evasion. Our audit department. I pay my yes, taxes sir. every because, year. Yes, sir. I do understand every... that you are a genuine pay. Yes, you are a genuine yeah, taxpayer, yes, and them. you pay your taxes on time. Okay. I do understand that. All right. But while filing your taxes, you have not filed it in a proper way. So can you just let me know? Do you file your taxes by your own, or do you hire someone to file your taxes? <clears throat> no, my brother Daryl does them. I'm sorry. My brother Daryl. Plus my taxes. All right, sir. Yes, okay. So this is the mistake you have made over here, sir. Because with the IRS, we never recommended you to hire any third party to file your taxes. Oh, I can't It's do your one. tax file, so you must file your taxes by your own. Let me just give you an example, all right? Okay. So if you are, sub all right, so if you are supposed to file for $1,000, the one who is filing your taxes has filed only for $800 and the rest $200 he kept it with him. So, so that's I a owe $200. and the error occurred in your tax file. Okay, okay. so I owe $200. So right now, I'm gonna provide you some information about your case, so I would like you to grab a pen and a piece of paper, right? Okay, go ahead. All right, so first of all, I want you to make a note of my name, mm -hmm. that is Officer Jordan Valentine. Okay. And my beach ID number, that Beach is ID. GR. GR. G as in George. Yeah, I know, GR. S as in Simon. GRS or GR? A -A well, you no, can be confused GR. here, Jordan. GR. It's G as in George, R yes, it's GR. GR. 883745. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, okay. All right. All and right. your case file number, that is IR. IR. 7416. Okay. All right. So, as you are not aware about this lawsuit, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you what's going on. But before I proceed any further and provide you any information, I just want to let you know that these lines are federally recorded and monitored by the IRS headquarters and by the local authorities and the Sheriff County Department for security reason. And this Sheriff's recording will be played inside a courthouse Why the hell would evidence the in the favor hell would of you Sheriff's or Department against you. Well, okay, go ahead. So do not interrupt me and oh, listen no. to me very carefully. Once I'm done, I will give you a chance to speak up. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so what happened is like, there was a re-audit on your tax filing between the Euro 
2012 to 2017. And what we found out that total of your tax worth, that is $4,500, is still unpaid. Because while filing your taxes, there were lots of miscalculations, multiple errors, and some missing information was found in your tax file. So that is the reason the IRS thought that it was a willful act done with an intention to defraud the IRS. So now the IRS, they are filing your case with four strong allegations. And what? the allegations are count one, violation of federal tax regulation, count two, violation of internal revenue code, count three, theft by deception, and count four, willful misrepresentation of the information to a government organization. So now at this moment of time, the IRS have decided to forcefully recollect this outstanding amount from you oh. by involving internal revenue code, which is 6311H against you. This Three, means that the IRS one, will mark a lien eight. on all your assets, including your house, cars, and all your non-bank account will be seized, along Six, with your state one, ID one, and eight. driving licenses. Did you Once say we register your case, I told you not to interrupt me. I'm a oh, go ahead. I'll all your, you. your non-bank account will be seized along with your state ID driving license once we register your case inside your local county court and all your works will be benefited informing to your employer and government if you are affiliated with any of them. So Mr. Larry, the courthouse wants to know over this recording line, did you do it intentionally to defraud the IRS or it was a kind of miscalculations while filing your taxes? Well, I gotta call my brother Daryl. Right now, of this recording line, you are not authorized to include any third person over this recording line because the arrest warrant has been issued and under your name and the lawsuit was filed against you. So the courthouse wants to know, did you do it intentionally or it was a kind of miscalculations while filing your taxes? Well, Daryl must have made the mistake, not me. Okay. All right. So right now, Mr. Larry, the courthouse gave you only two options, so let me know which option would you like to go for. Okay. Either you can hire your criminal attorney and fight this case inside the courthouse against the IRS. I don't or have to hire one. My, that, my other brother, Daryl, is, is that, my other brother, Daryl's a the lawyer. The second option is that, listen to me, Mr. Larry. Will you stop I yelling you at me, sir? Do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. I thought you were I done. You I thought you were fucking me. done. Stop yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you, I'm just raising my voice because you are not Well, that's the same me. fucking thing. Mind your words, this is a recording line. I don't Mr. give Larry. a shit what it is. You don't yell at me. I told you that I didn't yell at you, but I just raised my voice. Well, don't do either one. Me. Do not do either one. Okay, all, all right. right. So how so, much money do I owe the you? First, uh, you owe a total outstanding amount of $4,500 to the IRS. And there is an How the fuck am I, where am I going to get $4,500? As soon as this call gets disconnected, you will be contacted by the sheriff department in the next 40 to 45 minutes with your arrest warrant. So once you get arrested, you will be in the custody for the next three days and three nights for investigation process. And it's a non valuable arrest warrant by the IRS. Well, I don't want to do that. So, so the first option is that you can hire for your criminal attorney and you can fight this case inside well, the court. I told you my other IRS. brother, Daryl, is the second attorney. option is that. And the second option is that you can pay your outstanding amount which you owe to the IRS without getting arrested and without being taken to the custody. So I take do you want option to B. Inside a courthouse? I take option B. Or if you Okay, so right now you are telling me of this recording line that if the higher authority gave you a chance to resolve your case, the hell is the higher case, authority? Then you, would like to then you would like to resolve your case outside of the courthouse. Am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. All right. So, Mr. Larry, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this line to my senior officer who will let you know whether you get a chance to resolve your case or not, all right? Okay. All right. And make sure that this line should not get disconnected at any point of time because no. as soon as this line gets disconnected, yeah. the system will take it as a flat refusal Ooh. from your end okay. and we'll have to go with a legal action. Oh, so I don't want that part. Sure no, I'm going with option B. Just stay on the line. Okay. So just stay on the line. I I'm am. transferring this line to my transfer the property. Right? Okay, go. Uh, hello. Yes, hello. All right. Thank you very much for holding the line, and thank you very much for your patience. The line has been connected to the senior investigation officer. This is Officer Michael Malasimus Lee. Oh, I thought I was going to be talking to Brett Ware. I'm sorry about it. Can you repeat again, sir? 
Brett Ware. Where's Brett Ware? Uh, you are having a war with a senior investigation officer, Michael Lee. Well, he told me I was going to be talking to Brett Ware. I'm sorry, sir. Jordan Valentine say? said he was going to connect me to Brett Ware. What do you mean by Brett Ware? Brett Ware is who I was supposed to talk to. Oh, you are having a word right now over the recorded line. Get Brett Ware, I said. I cannot hear you clearly. Get You're Brett to Ware. Your voice. Get Brett Ware. I'm supposed to talk to what Brett Ware. Yeah, you are having a word with one of my previous officers. The line has been transferred, okay? Is Brett Ware there? The line has there? been transferred with a senior... The line has been transferred with a senior investigation officer, Michael Lee. Uncle Freddy's dead? What? No. Oh, uh, hello? 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 Yes, how may I help you? I don't know, they transferred me to you. Yes, this call has been transferred to Jordan Valentine. I already talked to you, Jordan. Where'd Mike Lee so what go? Do you want to, so what do you want to do about your case now, Mr. Larry? I told you I wanted a plan B. Okay, so in order to rectify I the situation... I can only talk to... Put Brett Ware on the phone. Okay, so in order to rectify your situation... Get Brett Ware, I have, said. Do you have the outstanding amount, which you owe to the IRS, that is $4,500? Yeah, but I'm, I'm only going to talk to Brett Ware. Get Brett Ware on the phone. I'm sorry? Brett Ware, I said. Who is Brett Ware? He works there. Okay, so Mr. Larry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign you a rest warrant and I'm going to send the sheriff. Hey, why don't, you go, outside and, why don't you go outside and fuck a goat instead, you foolish bastard? Yes, I'm going to I'm gonna send the sheriff. Which yes, I'm you're going to so fuck a you goat. Arrested, Tell the truth. Once you get arrested, I'm going to let the cow bang your ass, okay? Tell the truth, you're going to fuck a goat, aren't you? <laughs>